warm greetings to all my viewers and today I am starting uh, another series that is uh, English for specific purpose that is called ESP also and here is the first episode that is English for hotels now I have divided this into two parts today we have part one in this series I'm going to speak about uh, the language that is used so I'll be introducing uh, vocabulary as well as sentences all right so I'm your host Isra Ahmed Khan let's move on if you want we can book your friends in an adjoining room adjoining rooms are the rooms that are next to each other. We are located downtown, so we are close to all of the amenities. Amenities are the facilities uh, like stores, restaurants, etc. If you need help with your baggage, we have a cart you can use. Baggage. Uh, the suitcases and other belongings that you carry to a hotel. The zoo is our city's most popular attraction for kids. Attractions are places uh, where tourists can visit and do different things. The bellboy will take your bags to your room for you bellboy is the person who carries luggage for you in a hotel bed and breakfast I can book you into a beautiful bed and breakfast on the lake bed and breakfast is a home that provides you a, a bed and a place for breakfast next I can Book your family in for the weekend of the 7th. Book means to arrange to stay in a hotel. I'm afraid the hotel is booked tonight. That means there's no place, no room available. Next, all of our rooms have complimentary soap, shampoo, and coffee. Complimentary means free of cost, free of charge. Feel free to take some brochures to your room to look at. Brochures are the leaflets that give information about the hotel and other uh, tourist places. You can check in any time after four o'clock. Check-in means to come to stay, start living in, uh, staying in a hotel. Please return your parking pass when you check out. Check out means to leave the hotel. If you need an extra bed, we have cots available. Cot or rollaway bed, uh, our beds are uh, uh, the be uh, beds uh, that can that can be folded and uh, they have uh, wheels. We will have to add a damage charge for the hole you put in the wall. Damage is uh, the uh, you know the penalty that you pay when you have done some damage in the hotel. You will not receive your deposit back if you cancel. Deposit is the money that you pay in advance. Double bed. They are a family of four, so give them a room with two double beds. Double beds are the beds that can accommodate two, I mean the two people can sleep there. Towels are available at the front desk. Front desk is the uh, or reception is the area where you go for check-in or check-out or any information that you want regarding the hotel. The swimming pool is on the main floor. Floor is the level of the building. 
our washrooms are for guests only. Guests are the people who come to stay in a hotel. In the hostel, you probably won't get your own room. Hostel, hostel are low cost. Hostels are low cost uh, uh, places where uh, you know backpackers or on uh, people on budget can go and stay. I let you make your complaint to the hotel manager. Hotel manager is the person in charge at a hotel. Housekeeping or maid. Put a sign on the door if you want housekeeping to come in and change the sheets on the bed. So housekeeping are the people who change the linen or, you know, come for cleaning. The heated indoor pool is open until 10 p.m. Indoor pool is the pool that is inside the building a hotel building. There is an ice machine by the elevator on all floors. Ice machine is the machine that makes ice. There's an inn on the other side of town that has a vacancy. Inn is the, uh, the other name for a hotel. Jacuzzi, hot tub or whirlpool. Uh, you know, a small tub uh, where uh, you can relax. Our hotel room has uh, a personal hot tub. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching English Essentials with IAK. It's goodbye from your host, Israr Ahmad Khan. Till the next video, take care.